my bread machine. I'm actually, I'm just winging the recipe and I put two mashed bananas in there, making banana bread. Okay. That's my second bread machine and I don't know how to use that one either. I don't like reading directions, but I'm gonna pull out the old direction book and try to figure it out. <laughs> a warm one today. I got my hair up. It's allowed in there. Actually 93 degrees out there today. I really should have the AC on. I probably shouldn't be opening it over and over. But that's what it looks like right now. Oh, how pretty. Look, I don't know if you can see the little dome there. I guess it's off. Nope, it's not ready. It can see. <laughs> Here's the bread, you guys. You can tell I already dug in it, and it is delish. It's got two bananas, and it's just your basic, it's a basic recipe. It is good. I have to keep making bread, you guys, so that I can learn how to use that machine, because I just let it go, and so that it could do its thing. Delicious. I cannot film and dig at the same time because, you know, tripod issues. But I came out here. Look what I got. My first potato. So I'm going to dig them all up. I get over there and then these all right here. I just found one so far. Let me see. Oh, oh there's a baby one right there. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. I'm officially a backyard farmer. Good morning, you guys. This is the morning that I decided to come out. Only it's too late. It's like after 10 a.m. And the heat is already kicking in. I threw my hair up just any old way. And I'm red. It's super hot. So I pulled out. I'll throw a picture of the potatoes that I pulled out, but there's more to pull in that same area and then over on the other side of the orange tree. And then I'm going to pull up some green onions that look like they're ready too. So, yeah, I try to spend just a little bit of time out here so I can legally, not legally, officially call myself a backyard farmer. <laughs> Seeing one of their loved ones writhing in agony on the floor because they just accidentally. I'll try to attach it. See, this is for it's got a remote control and a charger for this, but this is for iPhone only. That's not an iPhone, as you can see, it's just an Android, it's LG, my old phone. I have to change cameras, you guys. Okay, <laughs> I ran out of storage in the other one. Oh, we'll be able to tell the difference in the footage, too. Anyway, these are actual phones, they're not cameras. So, my tip about 99 cent only store when you're going into the produce, to get the prices of the produce going from you, you can't
should name you Rocky. Because you're a boxer. Yeah. Mama, he likes the camera. He likes the camera. What's your mama doing? Nope. Nope. Uh-uh. No, no. So it's Friday night. My precious grandson came to spend a couple days with me. I'm super happy about that. It's like 7.30 though right now. And I'm barely going to make something to eat. Yes, I was snacking, but I'm going to make something to eat right now. Okay. I guess I'm making grilled ham and cheese. Yum. Let me get some butter out of the freezer. We go through butter in this house like crazy. from the little one? He's a stinker. Okay, I'm 
hold on, hold on, hold on. You're like, what am I doing? We got the ceiling fan on. She does not like it. Okay, you guys, we have Butchie in the crate. And he seems like he's going to want to be a stinker. The reason why is because Gardner's here. I don't know where he's at. On my messy patio. It's Saturday morning, y'all. I'm in my messy room. I have a dark because I'm trying to calm, calm Butchie down. And I'm going to come and lay down and take a morning nap because I had an early morning. I took my grandson, spent the night, and then I took him to football. I wanted to stay. I was super excited. I was super excited that I would get to watch him play. And because it was at the high school, obviously I assumed, I assumed that, you know, there'd be bleachers. And there are bleachers, but they weren't on the bleacher field. They were on a field with nothing, just a field. And I was watching all the parents get there, and they were all taking their folding chairs. So the parents knew that they needed folding chairs. Nobody told me. So anyway, long story short, I have some... I have some physical um, things that I cannot stand for very long periods of time. And of course, you know, I'm a sissy lala when it comes to the heat. But it was the weather's fine out there. It's just standing. I have injuries and I can't stand. I wish I would have known I would have taken my camping fold chairs that I got a while back at... Goodwill. They're really nice Coleman chairs. No, Eddie Bauer chairs. They're Eddie Bauer camping chairs. They're really nice. Anyway, that wasn't the case, but I know now. I wish I could carry those things in the trunk of my car all the time, but my car is so little. And the trunk, it's a nice sized trunk, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep them in there anyway. Who knows? So, you guys, this is my day. So far, it's still morning. Um, you can see that I'm already red and whatever. We went, Okay, so we stopped at a Dollar Tree store way out at another part of town. Oh my God, I love... You guys need to stay tuned for that shop with me. You're going to love that store. It it wasn't super big, but yet it was, it was a grocery store that had the freezers in the back. But... It was super stocked and neat, neat as a pin. There was a lot of shoppers in there, so I didn't talk because I figured I'm just going to get as much footage as possible because I was blown away. I was amazed, completely amazed at what I was seeing. And I figured, well, I'll just do a quick, like, edit, review, and just do some voiceovers. Even mom was like impressed. She's like, I don't even want to go to our Dollar Tree stores out there. Let's from now on come out here. And I'm like, I'm with you, sister. I'm with you. <laughs>